Welcome back to the Britannia Stadium. This is uh, Dave Lee and uh, Jamie Franklin, of course. Um, it's the uh, yeah, start of the second half, and there is a substitution, actually. Yes, indeed. And Julian Nagoy is coming on. You'll have to tell me who's coming off because whoever well, it is has disappeared. Ali Wachi. Has he? Yeah. 11 for 12. Oh, I'm surprised. As the game, as a, yes, indeed, he came up as a sub, I think, in the West Ham game uh, early in the week, where of course Stoke lost one nil of a very, very late penalty. Uh, they lost one nil, and Shea given uh, to uh, very little to do, I think, throughout the game, but uh, then had to take on a penalty in, in the last seconds of the game, and they lost one nil at West Ham. This game, of course, is being played at the Brits. The Stoke don't normally play their games here, but uh, good to see them here. Down the twenty ones playing in on, on such a, a, a fantastic uh, pitch, usually preserved for the first team. Uh, and Stoke are one uh, one two down, of course, to Swansea, and it's a must win game for for Stoke. If they're going to stay in the playoff positions, Swansea have an extra game in hand. But if they win today, they'll go above Stoke anyway into that playoff position. Stoke with a throw and, uh, and uh, back in their own half again. It's uh, along the back four again. It's a chilly. It's chilly up here. We are the only ones in the uh, in the press box today. Or you know, there's three of us here, and um, there's no heat with numbers here t today. It is. It is. It is. Another bitterly cold April day at the Britannia Stadium. What else did we expect? Joel Taylor here on the uh, on the left, playing it back. Lewis Banks plays it across the back four again. Liam Edwards tries to play it forward. Here's Waddington as right winger. Oh, he's got a good cross into the ball. Into the into. The, a good flick on Telford. Can he shoot? Oh, and it's blocked. It's a handball. The ball's in the back of the net. What? No. Oh, did he miss? Did he miss? He missed. He missed. It didn't go in the net at all. He went he wide, and and he played on. Julian and me. Oh dear. Looked like a ball, though. To be honest with you. From Telford shots. Telford shots. Yeah. yeah. A few of the Stoke players did did uh, scoop up, had their arms up in the air looking at the ref, but he didn't give nothing. And Ju Julian Ungo, he's the substitute, he popped it wide when really I think he should have scored. It sort of hit, sort of went past the post and uh, yeah, hit, hit, hit the back. The back, back the and back uh, yeah, and it almost looked like that was a, uh, it had gone in the back of the net. But uh, I thought by then the whistle had gone. But no, it was a goal kick, and uh, that's a terrible, terrible miss. Swansea's got the ball back down the left hand side to the Swansea number nine. Oh, good, good ball in length from Kanji Gori to Jay Fulton, but he just slipped at the vital moment. A great ball out to the right to Julian Hungoy. Did well there to keep it turn. Perhaps went for the wrong option, perhaps should have crossed the ball. Swansea back in possession now. Ball goes out, Stoke throw. Who, who was it? Who, was it Jay Fulton who slipped here? Yeah, he had number four. Yeah, and, Jay Fulton. And I don't know whether you noticed at half time they were sort of like watering the pitch yeah. exactly at that spot. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> and I'm wondering whether there's a, there's a coincidence there. I think that because I don't remember any, any watering going being going on at uh, yeah, at the Booden ends, yeah. which is the end that uh, Stoke are attacking at the moment. Swansea for Evan. Swansea substitution. Erwin Jones is coming off after grabbing a base in the first half. He's been replaced by number 16, Ryan Edges. The number nine's had a good afternoon for Swansea this, af this afternoon. As I said, it's scored score as that first half base. Nice little flip there from the Swansea, dispossessed by the Stoke. Did really well there. Uh, Loses so the well ball, there. but <laughs> good tackle. Eddie Lassine there. Then Pringle knocks it back to Edwards who clears the lines. Well up there from Talford. Who gets the ball back. Plays it wide to Oliver Shanton. He takes a shot. Oh! It's a beautiful strike that was. Uh, was, that, was that a deflection or did the keeper get a touch? Struck the ball from about 25 yards. Struck it really well and out for a corner of him. It's a value the, deflection. Shaved the post, I think. Yeah, I, it? I, 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 think I don't it see, see who. I don't think the keeper got near it. No, it must have been a defender, yeah. Hiss it with some venom. Yeah, really Dumps well, up. yeah. Really put his foot through it. Stokes at for a corner kick now. To be taken by Oliver Shanton. 
Good, good ball then. Swansea got possession back. Well, well done, Jamon <laughs> Taylor. He's got away Too with that. strong for him. Good shot by CJ. CJ Molina just faints. Takes the shot from about 25 yards, but it's always rising. Looked like I, I thought it took a little nick off one of the defenders, to be honest with you. It looked no. like it rose a bit, but a bit too much after he hit it, but the ref and linesman have just given it a goal kick. A couple of good chances there for Stoke, and uh, it, it, it shows this game is not over yet. If Stoke got the next goal, you'd have fancy him go on to probably go on to win the game. But Swansea have always got that ability just to keep the ball and take the sting out of the game and slow it down. With 22 minutes gone in the second half here at the Britain, it's uh, Stoke 1, Swansea 2 in the under 21 game. Can the Stoke pull their way back into this game? Uh, it's gone back to Lucene again, over to uh, Taylor. Uh, trying to get into uh, what Swansea's penalty area, and they've succeeded. And here is Nagoy, and uh, he's he, oh, he tried to slot it into the centre, and it didn't quite work. It uh, got cleared away by uh, the, the plethora of, of Swansea players, and again Stoke are attacking. Whoa. <laughs> Joel Taylor hit one really hard. I'm not sure if that was a shot or a pass, but uh, I think the, the, the Swansea defender who got on the end, receiving end of that certainly felt that. And Swansea are breaking now. Uh, they've got four up. But they're up against six defenders. Oh, down goes Daniel James, and I'm wondering whether that's going to be a card. Who is that? that is Elie Lucene, who hasn't <laughs> been yellow carded yet, but has now. So that's the second yellow card for Stoke City. This ref's not uh, shy of handing out these yellow cards, and. Uh, Probably deserved that one. I think it was a bit of a tackle from behind. It was yeah, uh, he, just caught him. He it. made a meal of it, be honest with you, know. But yeah, it seemed yeah, to be. He was, was adding into a dangerous possession about to put the cross in, so yeah, I think it did warrant a yellow card in all fairness. Yeah. And Swansea are breaking again. Oh, and it's it's two versus one here, but uh, some. Oh, and now James. it's James, and What's great James? save by the keeper. It's sprayed wide. Oh, the rebound sprayed wide, but still dangerous. But uh, thankfully, it's fallen Pringle, to a Stoke player. I think was about, I think Pringle just not that wide, just out the way. Then it looked like good defending. Well claimed there by by the Stoke keeper Daniel Batman. He slipped. That, there's, there's definitely water on the pitch down there. It's about ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. Stoke, Stoke. I believe Stoke certainly deserve an equaliser on the second half play. They've certainly been more of the aggressor. Where Swansea have been happy just sit back and slow the game down at times when they can do it on the break. Kanji Gori giving it to Daniel James here. He's got oh, too much pace for Baker. Brilliant tackle from Baker and another excellent touch. That was a fabulous recovery because yeah. I thought he'd been oh, beaten there by uh, James. Oh. And James still on the Adam. ball and he slips Look. over. Baker adding the ball on the floor. Just <laughs> <laughs> opened up now, Talford. Louis Banks. Louis Banks, yeah. Caught it out. He outstretched him for pace. He did well. He yes, he did well. He Banks, that. Banks being left. I, I can't believe he actually got back. I think he just, uh, I think James just sort of like just stops a second just yeah. to, to, to line up his shot. Stabbed himself for shot. Yeah, and uh, that was the moment that Banks, Banks put his boot just the right place to block the shot. Because I'm sure that was going for a goal. Stephen King's on the ball. I think he's arguably, arguably yeah, more Daniel James has been Swansea's best players today. He got forward at every opportunity, looked comfortable on the ball. I think Andy Lassine's had a good game and sent him in. He's, you know, he's used the ball well, used it intelligently, doesn't give it away much. The thing about Botanic Stadium, even in the middle of the summer you need to sort of have coats and hats. And that's the final whistle. Stoke, I'm afraid. Finish the season on a defeat here at the Britannia Stadium by two goals to one against their arch rival Swansea, who will go above them in the league and they have a game in hand, and of course, but for Stoke, it's the last game of the season. They go down 2 1. All goals in the first half. Stoke, uh, Swansea going two up, the two goals by Owen Jones in the 23rd and 34th minute. Dominic Telford hitting a cracker on 39 minutes to bring it back to 2 1, but unfortunately, that's not going to be enough for Stoke. And uh, there's a few heads lowered as they leave the pitch. They feel that they kind of 
had an opportunity here to uh, get the three points and put, them, put themselves in prime position for a playoff position, but it's uh, not been the case. But an entertaining game of football, though. Yeah, I think, I think sac- second half, I think Stoke acquitted themselves well. I think they probably, de- probably deserved to nick a point in all fairness. I mean, Swansea didn't really do much except try to hang on to the lead, but the damage is done in them first, first half an hour from them two goals from Evan Jones. Absolutely, yeah. But a very entertaining game, and we were glad to be here to see it, and uh, we hope to see uh, a lot more of these games in the, the next season. But uh, I'm afraid final score at the Botanic Stadium for the uh, under-21s here is Stoke 1, Swansea 2.